Hi, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to our FAQ section. And today I'm going to talk to you about carbonation, carbonated beverages and your gastric sleeve. It is a very common question uh, on post-op patients, of course. Dr. A, when can I have a carbonated beverage? When can I have um, one of these babies, which I personally love. That's a free publicity right there. And, uh, or can I have a soda or can I have a beer? When? And, or is it risky? Or will it blow up my sleeve? Or will I be in danger if I consume carbonation? Truth is, uh, you won't die, all right? <laughs> so your sleeve won't blow up. Um, Remember you have a very a new, uh, small and very small, very tiny stomach. With a regular stomach, you drink one of these babies and you'll feel full, all right? So the gas, the carbonation will expand your stomach and you will feel full. With a tinier stomach, you'll experience the same sensation, of course, with less amount, okay? So um, it won't blow up your sleeve. It won't make it come undone. Uh, you will not die from this. But I want to get to another aspect of this that is very important for a sleeve patient. And that is the carbonation, the bubbles, may irritate your stomach, all right? This can happen with a sleeve, without a sleeve, with a gastric bypass, uh, on a regular pate, not even no bariatric surgery, just a regular stomach. Excess of carbonation, it could be a Diet Coke, a Diet Soda, whatever you please. It, it may irritate the inner lining, the inner layer of your stomach and cause gastritis and inflammation. And excess of this may cause the uh, swollen, uh, a cause uh, the, the inner layer to be swollen and for you to experience certain symptoms, all right? Like getting, um, being hungry uh, more frequently or uh, having more restriction. Uh, I just can barely eat a certain amount and just feel too much restriction on that point. Uh, it's not intended for you to be to that point, all right? It's like, oh, I want more restriction. I I'll drink more of these. No, 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 no because it's not a good, um, a good symptom. It is not a good way to put your sleeve at, all right? So excess of carbonation is not good. Every once in a while, after you're a, a few months out, this will not harm your sleeve, but I'm going to talk to you about another aspect is being addicted to a certain type of carbonation, like for example, addicted to uh, diet sodas. There are a lot of people that are addicted and addicted just to uh, drinking diet sodas. Even with a the sleeve, they go back to the habit. Drinking a lot of uh, diet things may, this is very well studied, may increase your craving for more calorie intake. So watch out. It is not a good idea to be drinking diet sodas all the time, all right? But if you ask me, Dr. A, uh, I'm seven to eight months out. Um, I, um, it's my birthday. Uh, I want a mixology drink or I want, I want a beer. Let's just put it that, that way. So um, one beer. You gotta be very careful because you gotta you want to watch my uh, my video on alcohol in your sleeve, but um, it won't harm your sleeve, your sleeve itself. All right, so uh, I I just don't want to get you going on the, a bad habit of drinking diet sodas again. Uh, it's not good for you. It's not good for the inner lining of your sleeve, and it's just not gonna bring you anything good. So, but a myth, it's a myth buster here, is that 
Carbonation will not blow up your sleeve. Carbonation will not kill you. All right, it, it, it won't happen. Uh, once your sleeve is healed, it's healed. It may mess up the inflammation of your inner layer. True, that may cause certain symptoms that we talked about, yes. So just try to avoid it. Every once in a while, seldomly, it won't cause any damage like anything in life, just moderately, and, um, and you'll be good. So I hope this uh, helps you put your uh, mind at ease, gives you the information you need. And I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com, where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.